excited for this week's. It's some sourdough Roman style Italian pizzas. So let's get to work. So I just pulled my sourdough starter out of the fridge. And I'll just give it a good stir to mix it all back up. I'm going to double this recipe. So I'm going to need two tablespoons of sourdough starter to make the biga or leaven. I've got half a cup of warm 65 to 70 degree water. And about one cup of flour. And a pinch of fine sea salt. Be sure to feed your sourdough starter too after you take out. Add a little more water. And mix this up pretty well. I'm going to cover this and put it on top of my fridge overnight. So the next day I'm going to start in my mixing bowl about five and a half cups of all-purpose flour. About two teaspoons of granulated sugar. And two teaspoons of fine sea salt. And then I'll mix all the dry ingredients up real well. And I'm going to work in about two and a half cups of warm 65 to 70 degree water. I did it this way. It also works really well to mix the warm water into the biga and then mix that into the dry ingredients. And then I'm just going to mix this up real well. Now all of the biga that I made, look how healthy it looks. Like I said, Biga is just the Italian name for the sourdough sponge. It's in French, it's the leaven. Since this is Italian pizza dough, I'm just calling it Biga. We'll get this all mixed in here. And we'll cover that and let it rest 20 minutes.
Once that's rested, we'll dust that with some flour and then fold the edges. Then I'll just roughly shape that into a, a ball. I'm covering it with some plastic and then my towel and I'm going to throw that on top of the fridge and let that go for about five to seven hours. In the meantime I've split some sa paper sandwich bags To use to cook these on. The regular recipe makes two pizzas and I usually make four smaller ones since I'm cooking it in my toaster oven. So I'm getting eight out of this. Now I'm just going to dust the top with some flour. And got my hands coated pretty good too. Then I'm dusting my bags with flour and I'll cut this into eight pieces. And I'm using a little extra flour to make this a little easier to work and I'm trying to form this into a ball. I'm going to bake these on the, the sandwich bag sheet so I'm dusting them with some more flour. I've got them all set up and I'm going to hit them with some olive oil. Brush that over the whole top. And then a little coarse sea salt. And then I'm going to let these sit on the counter for about one to three hours until they're doubled in size. Like I said, I'm doing these in my toaster oven, so I'm going for a rectangular size more than a circle. And I'm just pulling this out with my hands to the shape that I want. I could have floured my fingers here, but I'm just docking the, the dough. And now some rosemary on these. And then I'll hit them all with some olive oil. I've got my toaster oven preheated to 450 degrees. And I'll put it on the toaster pan into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. That one was looking pretty good. And then as soon as they come out, I hit them with some more olive oil. If 
Get another one ready to go, dock it a little bit more, and into the toaster oven it'll go. The light was fading pretty quick, but uh, here's some of the other ones as they came out. In a regular oven with a pizza stone, these would be really good, but as they are, they're great out of this toaster oven. Wow, look at those guys. This bread is soft, chewy, and pretty easy to make. Uh, it's also great, the leftovers are great for sandwiches, and it's really addictive. I also chose to make this in my toaster oven instead of my oven, uh, so I made four smaller pizzas. Normally you'd make two bigger sized ones, so either way you go with this, it's really good. The main thing with this is working with the sponge. If you've got a really good sourdough, it's really quite simple. I mean, you start it the night before and work your pizza throughout the day. So I hope you give this a try. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.